Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Curry Kane, and welcome back to another episode on our series of learning Minecraft Bedrock Edition Redstone. Now, in today's video, it can also go with Java. This isn't just exclusive for Bedrock. Even though there is one thing that is exclusive to Bedrock in this video, everything else can go for Java, too. So that means if you're a Java player watching this right now, you can also find this video useful. But this is directed more towards my Bedrock audience because it is a part of my series of learning Minecraft Bedrock Edition Redstone. So to start off with no blocks, I'm sure you guys know that if you trade it off in some way, like so, it will let off a noise. Now with no blocks, depending on what type of block they're on, they'll make a different noise. And then they also have different tunes or pitch. And octaves. To be honest, I'm not a music person, so I don't really know the terms to use. I believe the correct term is actually pitch. So you right click to change the pitch. If you can hear it, you can hear how the pitch is changing. And then once you have the pitch that you want it on, then you right click to play that pitch every single time. That is also why I'm not in creative because if I right click, it will just break it. So I have to be in survival and I have to like click every single time I wanna play this certain beat. But if you're in creative and you want a way to trigger it, use a redstone pulse. That is another way to trigger it. So I can see you have a button and redstone. Boom, lets off that pitch. Now, while we are on the topic of pitch, there is 25 different pitches. Now, right now on screen, I will have the Minecraft wiki of the pitches. So you can see, if you don't touch it at all, it will be an F or F flat. To be, I'm not a music person. I'm sorry, guys. So if you're a music person and you understand how this is, you have to right click it those many amount of times for it to be at that note or pitch. Also, I will leave a link to this Minecraft wiki in the description if you guys want to read this and look at it yourself. Also, on the Minecraft wiki, you can see how they have the piano chart. They have it labeled for each different time that you hit the note block, and it changes pitch of what color that will be. So then, based on the color of the note, you can technically check what pitch it is, and you can also see the color note below that too. So yeah, link in the description if you want to go check that out for yourself. But anyways, as you can see here, we have a note block with a block right above it and then at least a block of space. For a note block to work, there has to be a block of space, at least one block of space for a note block to work. As you can see, this one isn't working, but this one is. So make sure that when you're using note blocks, you have at least one block of space. So now we're on to every single block and what kind of sound it makes. So any block makes a harp slash piano sound. As you can see, I'm using dirt, but it's any block that is not one of these. So as you see, it is a harp and piano sound. Now we have the string bass. Now this is any wooden plank, I believe, but I'm using oak. Next we have the snare drum, and this can be done on sand, gravel, and any color concrete powder. Next we have the hi-hat, and it is on glass and sea lanterns. Next we have the bass drum. It is on stone, bricks, any type of sandstone. So this will also, I believe, be the same on this floor right here. This is smooth sandstone, but I believe it's the same as normal sandstone. Quartz, netherrack. This is supposed to be nylon, but because there's a block on top of it, it's like... It, it doesn't show the nylon anymore, but netherrack and nylon, nylon, am I saying that wrong? Anyways, obsidian, any ore, I have coal, but you can use diamond, gold, whatever, and then also coral. Next, we have bells, which is done on a gold block. Next, we have chimes, which is done on packed ice. This is packed ice. Not normal ice, not blue ice, packed ice. Next, we have the guitar, which is on any wool block. Any, any wool block that you want, it is the guitar. Next, we have the xylophone, which is on a bone block. Next, we have the cowbell, which is done on soul sand. Next, we 
Next, you have the pumpkin. Not a carved pumpkin, just a normal pumpkin, and it's the didgeridoo. Now we have the banjo, which is on a hay bale. Next, we have the electric piano, which is on a glowstone. The electric piano on the glowstone has to be my favorite one. And last but not least, these two are exclusive to the Bedrock. So if you're watching this and you're on Java, you cannot have these two on Java Edition. These are exclusive to the Bedrock. And it's the flute. And it is on clay blocks and honeycomb. Yes, I almost mispronounced that. Honeycomb. So now that we have gotten through what all the different blocks make different sounds and what sounds they do make, now we're going to get on to the redstone part of it. So right here we have a doorbell. So as you can see, we have the button activating a note block, which then different tick repeaters into another note block. And we are also using a gold block, which is bells. Yes, so there's bells. Also, I did not design this. I did use a tutorial for this by FedEx Gaming. I'll, I'll link it in the description. Also, let me know if you guys want some note block tutorials because I'm 100% down for that. All right, let's just play this already. Now, right here, I have another big one, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'm going to leave it up to you guys to guess in the comments. So if you guys know what this is, leave a comment with your guess. And yeah, let's see if you know what this is. So leave a comment if you have a guess of what that is, and let's see if you're right. And that's pretty much it for today's video. If you did enjoy, make sure to smash like, subscribe, new as always post notice. Pretty much all I gotta say. See you next one. Goodbye.